Hey there everyone, it's Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus Dry Dogs and uh, here with Jason Butterfield, shop manager. And we're gonna be talking a little bit about, uh, about trim today. And I wanna show you a project that we're working on and it's really gonna illustrate this perfectly. So hey, let's get started. All right, so as you can see, we've got some torpedoes here from our current 112th German Seahund project. Um, what are we doing, Jason? Uh, well, the torpedoes, when they were fired, would kind of list over from the torque roll. So we're opening the nose caps, adding foam and weight to give it the stability so when it torque, or, you know, launches, it doesn't spin through the water. Right. It stays perfectly level. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, I mean, these are trimmed because we've got, we've got weight um, in here already. It's just, and the, I mean, they probably work, right? But we, I want more. I want them to be more stable. Uh, and so, what we did uh, here and, and what we're going to do, um, because we've already perfectly trimmed the torpedoes, okay? So this is going to be applicable for all of you guys who have submarines that have torque roll. So if your boat heels over uh, when you apply the throttle, this is going to be what you want to do. So you've got it perfectly trimmed out. So we need to add foam and weight, but we don't want to affect the overall trim of the boat. So what do you do? Um, well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go back to the trim tank and uh, we're going to show you. All right, here we are at the top secret test uh, facility. So the whole secret to this is a net neutral change in buoyancy. Net neutral change in buoyancy. So, all right, too much, too much. So what we're trying to do is have this assembly with the foam and the weight as close to neutrally buoyant as possible. So there, there in theory is less than one half of an ounce of difference between this positive buoyancy and the negative buoyancy that we saw a little bit earlier. So why don't you just shave like an eighth of an inch, maybe not even that, just a little sliver off the uh, end. Oh, that's probably a lot. Maybe just like half of what you, yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. What does that do? Oh, that's like super buoyant. What the heck? Uh, or add, you know, a half ounce weight. That's weird. So in theory, this should, this should definitely sink. Oh, uh, how did we? Okay, we're, so we're, and you know, doesn't matter how how we got here, but we're here now. So uh, it's just barely positively buoyant. If you tap it, you know, it, it goes down. So yeah, we want to shave. Maybe those. That, this off. Yeah. Oh, attacked by the styrofoam. Aha, look at that. It's floating perfectly neutrally buoyant. That is like pretty awesome. So if I if I just tap this, do you see that? It's just hovering. It slowly comes up. That's what you want. Cool. Let's get back to it. Dude. All right, so back to our nose cone. Uh, and we're gonna do this because it's a convenient place to put it. Um, I'm just gonna dry that off, yeah. So um, this is top dead center of the weapon, which happens to align with this fiberglass little lip in there but the idea is this will go like this high then the weight goes in the quote unquote keel down low so this will provide a lot of stability because the the foam is trying to pull up the weight is trying to pull down and uh, the two of them create a line that's going to try and keep this piece like this and because this piece is connected to this piece which is connected to this piece the whole assembly will want to more strongly keep itself 
vertical. So we're going to go ahead and uh, stick all this stuff inside, and then we're going to test the torpedo uh, and make sure that we didn't mess up the ballast trim. All right, uh, Jason has goobered everything in there. So foam high, weight low. It's all secured in there. There's adequate space to get this cap uh, back on there when we're all done. So I guess next step, Jason's going to goober glue that back on, put our little rubber nose cone, which is super cool, by the way. This is um, mold rubber super soft so when these torpedoes jam themselves into the side of a swimming pool or a uh, person, person uh, there is no damage incurred to either the weapon or the um, subject of the attack so I'm gonna get that done and we're gonna throw this sucker in the test tank all right uh, back to the top secret test facility uh, torpedo is all assembled and ready to go back in the water we're gonna shake all the air out of the nose cone and the tail cone. All right, now we need to see where it floats. And that, I think, maybe just the, well, it's hard to say because that tail, no, it's pretty, the tail's the bottom. Yeah, it's hard to... It does have overall positive buoyancy, though, for sure. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, Jason's going to hold it back there. And this is obviously not a long run, but uh, he's going to kick the motor on. We're going to watch and make sure it doesn't spin around um, as it gets launched. I'm gonna try and catch it, yep. Oh yeah, it healed over maybe 10, 10 degrees. Try it again. Nice. So yeah, um, that's gonna be beautiful. We're gonna take it back to the, to the pool and we're gonna check how it tracks through the water. And if we need to, now we can adjust the fins because they're always gonna be in a, in a constant position through the water. And um, yeah, we should be able to adjust it so it shoots uh, hot, straight, and normal. Uh, but that's it. So that is increasing the static stability of your aquatic craft, um, as exemplified in the modifications of these 112 scale German torpedoes. So hopefully you liked it. Uh, if you did, please do like and subscribe. It helps us out here a lot. If you have questions or comments, hit me up, bob at nautilusdrydocks.com. With that, we're going to let you all go. Thanks for joining us on behalf of Bob and Jason. Catch you guys next time.